But here's the big question. Can we count housework as exercise? We're going to talk about it today. So yeah, I'll admit, I get really warmed up and heated when I do my home reset. But is it enough? Well today, I'm going to do the research so you don't have to. First, let me be really transparent. I'm a 51 year old housewife and my weight has fluctuated up and down from 125 to 160 over the last several years. I see it, I eat it, and I feel it. So don't you think that that deserves a thumbs up? So here's the facts. An uh, average 150 pound woman doing housework for an hour burns about 200 calories. That varies a little bit depending on activity levels and also the vigorousness of the activity. What's really shocking is that a study in North Island revealed people who report housework as part of their workout activity for the week tend to be significantly heavier than those who don't report housework as part of their workout. So basically, is the calories burned from housework enough to lose weight, tone up, or even just get healthy? The experts say no, but the calories do count and they add on top of your other activity, which is a good thing. 30 minutes of activity five times a week is what is recommended, but you've got to make sure that you're getting your heart rate up enough to count. But when you do this, you're lowering your risk of death by 28% and your baseline heart rate is lowered by 20%. So basically, in order to count housework as exercise, we've got to bump things up. So try picking up the pace. Try to keep that pace going for a full 30 minutes and it does count. But if you can't do 30 minutes straight, build up to it. It's all about making progress. So with doing my research, I found an article from Very Well Fit and they just say boost up the activity level, get your heart rate up more and use more muscles while you do these regular activities. So basically we're going to engage our core. That just means suck in the gut when we're doing the activity. That's going to strengthen the muscles that help us to breathe better and give us better posture. Also try to challenge your stability. Go up on your tippy toes. Maybe go down to a squat. These all engage more muscles while you're doing your regular activity. I did a few of those things today and as you can see I burned some calories. So for example when you're vacuuming or mopping go into a full lunge that's with your legs spread apart and one knee bent as you move forward and then lunge back as you come back it makes the process slower but it gives you more of an exercise and I can honestly tell you that I was working up a sweat very quickly with lunging when you're scrubbing you can scrub vigorously using arm motions of course we naturally do that but have you tried going up on your tippy toes or doing a squat while scrubbing the area so when I'm scrubbing the windows going up on my tippy toes and then down and repeating that process up and down up and down works your calves and engages your core muscles again so that we get a better burn now mama I'm not saying you've got to do all of these things hardcore if you need a break take a break get some water and let your body catch back up. You never want to do an activity above your level. So it may take a little bit of practice to be able to do tippy toes or to be able to do squats. You can always hold on to the counter. That's gonna give you more leverage. All right, so I'll admit this one is not like anything new, but take the stairs. If you have an opportunity to go up and down a stair versus going around to the front or using a ramp, if you have laundry downstairs and bedrooms upstairs like I do, then you know that every time you go up and down, that is a good workout. So use the handrails. Don't try to do more than you can, but it is a great way to increase your activity. So yeah, take advantage of those stairs, but also step ladders. Don't forget, you can bring a step ladder into the kitchen when you're unloading the, the groceries. Use the step ladder to go up and down to those higher shelves, and that's a great way to bump things up. So when you're making your bed, they're just saying like get into some lunges, squats, things like that. So when you're tucking the corners, do a squat or a lunge and that's going to engage your core again. When you're cleaning the walls, go ahead and do wall push-ups while you're wiping things down. And although gardening is not part of my homemaking skills, if you work in the yard or you garden, you're definitely going to be getting a lot more activity than if you stay in the house. So consider push mowing your yard versus riding on a lawnmower. Pull weeds. That's an excellent arm movement and you know that you're always sore the next day from 
from pulling and bending over. For best results, go ahead and stack chores on top of each other. That's called habit stacking and it's really good. And try not to sit down and relax in between everything. It is far better to not have the TV on and keep it moving than to sit down and take frequent breaks unless you need them. And for very best results, they recommend stacking your 30 minutes of chores on top of a 30 minute walk. My current goal is to hit a 10,000 steps every single day. And I can tell you, there's no way I get that done if I do my regular routine, which only is about 4,000 steps. So that 30 minute walk is crucial to get my 10,000 steps. Don't let this get you discouraged. I just sometimes need to see the truth and know and quit lying to myself about what's going on. So that's what this intention is. This is the wake up call that yes, you do get to count the calories that are burned from exercise, but it doesn't replace exercise. So join me, just get out, go for a walk. I'm not perfect. I know that you're not either, but we can do this. And I'm doing a whole reset right now of my morning routine so that I can get moving and get going. And the goal for me now, 10,000 steps every day. I don't care how I get them. And I hope that you will join me. If you wanna know more about the challenge, join me over in this video. Let's pray. Father God, I pray that you will just fill us up with your strength. Father God, fill us up with your wisdom, with your love. Father, this is a, it's a tough subject. It's hard when you physically can't do all the things that you would like to do. But also, Father God, we make excuses. I am so guilty of not having enough time to get up and do things and I find that I always have enough time to watch the TV shows. I always find the time to do the things that I want to do and go into the gym is never one of them. So Father, I just pray that you will just give us the strength and the focus and the determination to just make small baby changes to our routines so that we can be healthier and we can be up and we can be moving. Even if it's just a little bit today, it builds, it adds, and it will change us. Father God, I give you my heart. I give you my life. And I ask that you would just be in control of all things. Jesus, please bless these ladies. Thank you for them and just send your love to them. In all ways, we just praise your name. Amen.